Hi, my name is Randall, a solutions engineer at Edmund Optics. In part one, I took just a couple minutes to assemble an XY translation stage system, allowing for repeatable adjustments and precise alignment in two directions. Many applications require adjustment in the Z direction rather than just moving a post up and down. Today, I'll add a Z axis to our assembled XY configuration, creating an XYZ setup. This is a bit trickier because of the way the micrometer is mounted onto the stage. The positioning of the micrometer causes the load to be supported by the spring tension. In order to alleviate this, I'll show you how to remove the micrometer, reattach it to an existing XY configuration with the addition of a Z bracket. In addition to the XY setup we configured in part one, we'll need the following mechanical components. 40 millimeter side drive solid top metric stage, 40 millimeter Z bracket, 2 millimeter metric Allen wrench, and 0 0.05 inch English Allen wrench. Let's start. Step 1 align the four M3 counter bore holes in the Z axis bracket to the corresponding holes on the top plate of the 40 millimeter stage. Step 2 now, using the included M3 socket head cap screws, and the 2.5 millimeter metric Allen wrench, fasten down the bracket to the top plate. Step 3. Tighten the clamp screw and secure the stage. Next, loosen the screw securing the micrometer head with the 0.05 inch English Allen wrench and remove the micrometer head. Step 4. Now remove the micrometer base and the micrometer stopper, the 2.mm metric Allen wrench. Now removing the stopper, speeding up the video. Next remove the clamp screws with the Phillips head screwdriver. Removing the clamp screw and the clamp plate. Step 5. Attach the stage to the Z-axis bracket. First, using a 2.5mm metric Allen wrench and the included M3 socket head cap screws, secure the two screws on the upper side. Move the stage by hand and then secure the screws on the lower side. Next, move the stage to an adequate position and tighten the clamp screw over the clamp plate. Mm -hmm. 
Then secure the clamp screws. Step 7. Attach the micrometer stopper. Then the micrometer base. You may note that the attached position and the direction differ from the previous position and direction of the original stage. Be sure to tighten the screws securely. Step 8. Insert the micrometer head into the micrometer base. Insert the micrometer head all the way in securely. If it does not go in all the way, move the stage or adjust the micrometer. Be sure to rotate the head so that the dial in the micrometer head can be seen clearly. Securing it with a set screw. Note that the attached position and direction differ from the previous position and direction of the original configuration. As you can see, you have now created a complete XYZ axis translation stage system. You can now make repeatable, precise movements in three dimensions after a little assembly of our standard components. I hope you have enjoyed part one and part two of this video series. Remember, if you have any further questions or like to discuss your next application, feel free to contact Edmund Optics Tech Support today. Thank mm -hmm. you.